Hi beautiful souls, and still on the topic of spiritual rebirth and today we're going to tackle down and out, dark and under. <laughs> yeah, the not so pleasant part of it all. So the way that I can relate to it now that I've passed through it all, or not even all, most of it, let's rather say that, is that um, the, the first part was almost like the easier part because I had one job and that was to breathe. That was the only mission I had 24 seven, keep breathing. And then obviously you just go through the motions of the day. I think the more difficult part comes when the body has healed, the mind is lagging, the emotions are all over. But for me, the biggest rip through my universe was actually the spiritual crisis that I ended up. I didn't experience going into um, like, like a depression, but I did form uh, like, like numbness was also the wrong word. I did just went into a phase where I just managed my day. Yeah, I think that is the best way. It was just a manage the day. Um, I enjoyed what happened in front of me, but I had zero inspiration. That was on the emotional side. And then on the mental side, I found that for some reason I couldn't think, I couldn't remember really. And I remember at one stage I had to write one email. And after three months of trying to write one email, I convinced myself that the email was no longer needed. <laughs> that and and I mean, if I I laugh because I find it so so interesting, because when back in the day I could easily handle like three hundred emails a day and just get through them, do what needs to be done, and, and things like that. And here, one became like as big as a mountain. But I want to talk about the, my spirituality that, according to me, basically took the biggest hit. Because for me, it has been the only thing that made sense in my life. Since a little girl, that was the connection. And it's not that I've ever had the belief that only good things will come my way because I mean I read the book of Job <laughs> once upon a time I I've never seen my connection with the divine as a promise only for the good things in in fact um, I've always seen it as um, it's a connection which is so unconditional that I am willing, I am willing to love even in harder times. So, so that wasn't the thing. So I really like started to, to delve into the thought, but why then did it hit me so, so bad? I think the thing was, in all my other incidents, there was always a human and I could totally get it that us as a human being can fail one another. I did not see it coming that an incident like that where something will just collapse and shatter my world um, is going to come for me. And I think in that way, the, the fact that it, it came straight from the divine, there was no human uh, intervention. Um, I think that is the thing that really, really shocked me. And it was very, very difficult for me to um, maneuver through my healing space when that one thing that has been the only thing that made sense, the only lens through which I looked at life was basically um, shattered. And in that way, I think for me, the spiritual darkness was the was the. The, the greatest burden. But now all is well again. <laughs> I think, I hope, I pray. <laughs>
There is no need to subscribe and if you must follow someone, follow your own heart.